What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're here at the 2024 PGA Merchandise Show and we're at the Foresight Sports booth. I'm here with Tim. There's a lot going on this year at Foresight Sports. So right now we actually have Justin hitting some balls on the all new Foresight Sports Falcon, which is essentially kind of like a slimmed down version of the Hawk that they had previously. What's really cool right now is they actually have the Focus, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, fo is it Focus AI? Yeah, Focus. Yep, uh, integrated with that system. So it's displaying ball data and club data. Now the club data is coming soon to the Falcon. It's already integrated with the new Quad Max we're gonna talk about here in just a second. But Tim, will you just point out some features that the uh, Falcons bring into the table? Yeah, not a problem. So the big difference between the GC Hawk and our new Falcon is the Hawk was originally designed to do a multi-sport application. So we do have soccer on that one and it's tracking the, the ball coming into the impact zone in and out. So with the, with the actual Falcon now, we're just focused on golf itself. So we're able to take the engineering we did on our latest products, increase it into the Falcon, which brought down the size and dimensions. It's more durable. And um, we're able to get the same, even a little bigger hitting zone for righties and lefties. They yeah, don't, how big is that hitting zone again? It's 58 inches uh, long and 28 inches uh, wide. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's a huge hitting zone. So yeah. you know, ideal for people in smaller spaces who want to be a little offset. Yeah, you know, correct. So that makes total sense. Um, we'll let him hit a couple more balls for a minute, guys. What you're seeing there is, is it's really cool. You actually have like a, a 2D side trajectory view. Uh, it gives him his care number it shows him how offline he was with the shot it shows him his path coming in with the club uh, it actually shows him backspin and these are actually data tiles that you can choose so you can swap these out as well so depending on what you're working on you might be hitting driver and you just want carry and a spin number you can swap those out as you go so um, really cool stuff uh, one thing I want to talk about this is an all-new GC Quad, the Quad Max. So essentially, you know, just so people have a good understanding, I mean, a, a, a good amount of the hardware is the same. I mean, you have the same camera technology. You're going to get the same level of data accuracy. Correct. You're going to get all the same ball data and club data and everything. Tell us what's different about Quad Max. Yeah, the main thing is we uh, rebuilt the internal structure using magnesium instead of titanium which brought the weight down about 20%. Wow. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter. Feel lighter. We changed the ergonomics of the back handle so it's deeper and easier to grab onto. Okay. Uh, we've actually increased the milliamps of the battery so you're getting seven to nine hours of battery life instead of six to eight. Wow. So the, those are the, a lot of the new features. We have a new back housing. Um, the other issue, or the other change we did now is we have Gorilla Glass on the front and it's nice. a touch screen. Yes. So the touch screen is a nice new addition. It's much easier to use. Um, and a couple other features that are involved now is uh, we have a speed training mode. So now you're able to do speed training without impacting a ball with using the quad max. Yeah, I think so, that, that yeah. is, that's a feature a lot of people were looking for. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you can take uh, one of the, the, the speed training tools and just put a sticker right on it and you're good to go. It doesn't have to be a club, right? That is correct. You use one of the, the one sticker for digital, you put it on the bottom of a, one of the popular speed sticks yeah. or uh, stack systems or even just your driver or seven iron whatever club you want to use sure and uh, it will track your speed for you yeah uh, another new feature in this is now you could store your sessions so before this had to be connected and it would then upload to this the servers and everything now you could take this on the range store up to five sessions and they're already saying we could do over one billion shots with wow. your storage that's um, enough yeah, that's plenty. <laughs> I don't think you're going to have an issue with that. That is something a lot of people ask about because if you're going to just go to the range and just throw it down, you don't want to deal with technology You know, outside of that. Just hit store, go back, review it after. Correct. You have everything. I like that. Yeah, so I that's like a that. nice one. Um, one new feature we added in that works with our mobile app now is before you had two screens of your data points, the ball data, club data, and it would switch back and forth. Yep, we rotate. never got to choose what data points you wanted to see at a time. So we, we integrated in the mobile app is presets. So now you could select your own tiles. So let's say I'm working on driver stuff and I just want to see you know, ball speed, launch angle. I could set up different tiles to show up on the screen and cycle through and you, it's predetermined how long those come up. So if I'm working on just wedges, I just want wedge data. I could just display those on the screen just from my mobile app. And you can change the timing on how long they show. Correct, you could go from three seconds, that screen stays on, all the way up to 10 <laughs> seconds and vice versa. I really like that. I mean, that's one thing I found myself doing all the time is kind of hitting that arrow and flipping and yeah. stuff. So if you're only working on driver, you only want certain things. Yeah, that's. I'm really glad you guys actually brought that to the table. And the app keeps progressing. 
yeah, I've yeah, been following along, so that's cool to see more integration. And I think I was talking to the chief technology officer, and he actually took a phone and tapped it on the quad Correct. to connect. Yeah, so it's got the RFID in there, so NFC, so all you do is hold your phone over here. It's going to open up a little uh, dialog box on your phone, and then it opens up the app for you, and then automatically connects to the device. Ease of use, I love it. Yeah. That's, that's the type of stuff people are looking for, so very cool. Um, before we jump off here, I do want to talk about one thing we had a conversation about. Uh, it sounds like camera integration is coming to FSX Play, but not just camera integration. You guys are actually going to be providing new camera sets. Yeah, that is correct. So we, we, uh, we worked uh, quite a bit lately, and we got some new cameras, and uh, basically, each camera is going to have multi three lens options. So based on your space, you can change to a more of a wide angle lens. Um, our cameras work perfectly with FSX Play. Um, all you do is go in the analysis window and you'll be able to see front view and side view. Um, each camera is going to retail, we're saying, about $295. And that comes plug and play. You don't have any drivers with the camera. You just plug it into USB 2.0 port and you're good to go. Man, that's that's competitive pricing, at least off the top of my head, what I'm thinking. I mean, I, I, that's very attractive. And I got a lot of people asking about the integration, you know, from the original 2020. Yeah. I'm glad to see that you guys are, you know, continually developing play. People want to see more inside of it. And, uh, you know, it being the all new software with the higher end graphics and everything, you know, it's cool to see that. So. Man, I really appreciate both you guys taking the time to demo Justin. Thank you for Thanks, the swings Justin. and uh, you know all the information yeah, pleasure, and everything. Man. I look forward to covering it all on the channel. So guys, stay tuned. We'll have a lot of videos coming up covering all this various technology from Foresight Sports. And then also make sure you check out all the videos that we're doing here at the 2024 PGA Merchandise Show. Thanks for watching.